Hello everyone and happy hump day. It's a Wednesday afternoon. In fact, it's lunchtime and I wanted to give you a severe weather update. It looks like thunderstorms will be developing later on this afternoon. We do have a few changes in the forecast, so let me get you caught up in this video forecast. Maybe as you're watching during your lunch break and here's what you can expect. Now, first of all, this is the newest severe weather risk that's been updated by the Storm Prediction Center at 11.30 a.m. You'll notice that that yellow shaded area, which is the slight risk of severe weather, has been and shifted a little bit farther northwest. This is because of a slower position or a slower movement of the front. And I'll show you exactly where that front lies in southwest Missouri and northeast Oklahoma. Damaging winds will be the one of the threats. A large hail looks to be the main threat with these storms. And I'll show you this as we look at our hail risk. You'll see that it's medium across uh, Benton County as well as Washington County, Carroll County, parts of eastern Oklahoma and southwest Missouri. The wind threat's a little bit lower, but some of the storms could produce some damaging winds if they collapse and there you can see that uh, low threat uh, for damaging winds. So as we look at the temperatures right now we're in the lower to middle 80s. This is important because the models only went upper 70s today but because of the slower movement of the front and the slower push of the front moving in along with the abundant sunshine that we're seeing this afternoon this is causing the atmosphere to cook a little bit and we have a lot of instability in fact looking at some of the parameters CAPE which is convective available potential energy was uh, reaching over 4,000 according to some uh, local mesoanalysis. So I know that's some fancy words. Just basically know that it's highly unstable for thunderstorms. Temperature is near 90 in the river valley. It's a little drier, but boy, the humidity is up there. We have dew points around 70 degrees, so plenty of juice, plenty of fuel for these thunderstorms along with a south wind. So where is that front? Well, we're looking at this front map here, and this dark blue area are lighter winds. So the winds are dying off right along the front. And so if you can tell, that front extends from south central Missouri into southeastern Kansas and then into northeastern Oklahoma. Notice how uh, northwest Arkansas is southeast of the front, so we have plenty of daytime uh, for temperatures to warm up and for thunderstorms to pop up. So as we analyze that front, also the surface winds are increasing a little bit more in northwest Arkansas. So that signifies that a low pressure system is beginning to develop in northeast Oklahoma. Now severe thunderstorm warning just popped up. You can see that north of Springfield. Some of these storms are increasing in intensity. In fact, as we look at this uh, severe thunderstorm warning, it's for north of Springfield. Other thunderstorms rapidly intensifying north of Joplin. Uh, that severe thunderstorm warning goes until 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Afternoon. Notice the movement is moving northeast. So not a lot of activity farther south of that, uh, south of the front, but that's going to change as that frontal position begins to surge south. Water vapor showing a big low pressure system to our north. However, there is some energy that is beginning to round the base of the trough that will be clipping northern Oklahoma and south central Kansas. That's going to fire up thunderstorms along the front as uh, you have this little dry air that's swinging in from the southwest. So a little bit of energy, a little bit of jet stream energy. That's going to allow for those storms to pop up later on this afternoon into the evening. So because of the front moving in a little slower, the severe weather risk from yesterday has been shifted farther northwest. That means less of a threat for the river valley, but not completely zero, a marginal threat with a slight threat of storms, a slight threat of severe weather. It doesn't mean that there's a slight risk for um, severe thunderstorms, it means that yes, storms will be severe, it's just the coverage won't be very much. That's the wording that the Storm Prediction Center uses. I know it can be a little confusing. I think we'll see a little bit of wind as well as hail, but hail looks to be that main threat. Tornado threat still appears to be rather low. Now on the future track, look at the thunderstorms starting to pop up by about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. These will increase in intensity. You see by about 4 or 5 o'clock for your evening commute, storms beginning to push into extreme northwestern Benton County. Other storms popping up. There's a lot of instability in southwest Missouri. Then we'll continue to see storms pop up along and ahead of the front and then eventually getting undercut by the cold front. So by 7, 8 o'clock in the evening, storms will be 
uh, intensifying and then they'll start to die off as the front pushes south but still some warm humid air in the river valley to fire up those thunderstorms so how can you keep up with us today we have a lot of ways for you to connect with us make sure you download our nwa weather authority app that's important because uh, we can have live streaming we'll also do a facebook live as any watches become issued also you can keep up with the latest right there meteorologist dan scoff at weather dan on twitter i'll be posting this as well on mr weather dan on youtube so keep it here with your weather authority as thunderstorms will be moving in and we have a lot of sunshine so some of the storms will most likely be severe with large hail possibly up to the size of two inches in diameter. Keep it here with your weather authority for the latest.